back to Kim's Creations. Before we get started today, I wanted to share with you something that I learned. Um, I had a very frustrating weekend last weekend and into this week when suddenly all the blooms that I was trying to do failed. And I mean failed miserably. The, the cells weren't holding, they were going really wonky. Um, my CA was sinking. It, it was just a disaster. And I remade paints. First I thought it was maybe a difference in the Varathane that I was using between the Josanya and um, uh, the regular brand Varathane by polyurethane. That wasn't it. Maybe I thought my CA was too thin, so I thickened it up. That wasn't it. I thickened up my paint because I thought maybe that's what it was. Nothing. Then I thought, well, maybe my um, my Australian Floetrol has gone bad. So I switched it out for a new batch of Australian Floetrol. Nope, same thing happened. So I was like, I've been through all my variables and I don't know what it is. Um, I finally figured out what it was with the help of a lovely lady named Cheryl uh, through the, um, the Shelly Art... Uh, Facebook book, Facebook book, Facebook uh, link uh, and Facebook page. It's for members only and they'll help you out there. So I had put down my cry for help. And what I learned was that the gold standard of the Bear 8300, there's actually two of them. And the one that I had purchased for the pouring medium was the Bear 2-8300. And I just thought they were the same thing. It was the only one on the shelf. Now, apparently uh, here in Arizona and probably in other places, the Bear Plain 8200 with no two in front of it um, is not available in this, uh, at least in the greater Phoenix area, it's not available. There's some rumors that it might maybe be found in Tucson, but I'm not sure about that. So as soon as I went back to my old pouring medium, which was the Sherwin-Williams um, Infinity Semi-Gloss Base C, everything worked again. But I thought just for giggles, I want to put down a comparison of the pouring mediums and just see what this um, 2-8300 looked like compared to the Sherwin-Williams. Uh, obviously with no tint, I just put it on a on a plastic sandwich bag so that there wasn't anything to inhibit what you're seeing. And I think what you can notice just with my fingers behind it is that the Sherwin-Williams Infinity Base C is actually more clear, more um, transparent than the 2-8300, which actually is quite opaque. Uh, it has a lot of white in it. So there is obviously a big difference between the 2-8300 and the plain 8300 with bare. Some of it must have to do with that white that's in here. So I just thought I'd share that with you, something that I learned. So hopefully it'll save you some frustrations. Um, do not purchase the 2-8300 of the bare and use it as your pouring medium. You will not get the results that you've been getting or hoping to get if you're using it for the first time. So just a heads up. That's my um, public service announcement uh, for, <laughs> for today. Uh, today I'm gonna be working on an eight by 10 inch canvas. I've kind of created a little uh, spin box around me. It's not really, it's mostly a box. Um, and I've, I've just kind of disassembled a box that I can put up around my surface and, um, and then kind of just protect myself with this in the front when I go to spin. Because I found that now that I'm trying to do these on bigger pieces, I'm getting splatters all over the place. So this will help, help to keep me a little less painted. All right. So my plan today, I have mixed up a bunch of paints. They're over here. Oh my gosh, what a mess. All right, so I have Liquitex Basics Medium Magenta. 
I have a TLP concoction that I made myself by mixing up submarine, um, TLP submarine, and just a tiny bit of TLP mosh to create this beautiful, what I am calling marigold color. It's like a very warm, almost orange color. Super beautiful. TLP funk. Then I have golden permanent violet dark. Gorgeous, rich plum color. TLP mermaid finishes up all my colors. And my cell activator is going to be titanium white from Amsterdam. So those are my colors. The pillow paint that I am using is still the PPG Multi Pro that I have been using and that I have been trying to thicken up. And I just thicken it up by, um, I think this can that I got must have been super, super thin, um, which apparently is not how most of this PPG is. So I don't know, but I was not very happy with it. But anyway, I thickened it up just by decanting into smaller containers, leaving the containers open and setting uh, an alarm for every 30 minutes to come and stir it. And that has thickened it up. So I've done this over a period of several, several days. I'm going to use a smaller amount of paint paint. Okay. I'm going to put my, my blue down first. This is the mermaid, TLP mermaid. down TLP Funk. My so named Marigold color. Magenta, top with golden permanent violet dark. that out of there. Pop bubbles. Recenter. All right, white CA. I'm going to move this. Okay, white CA.
what's happening with that one. Think too much CA. Interesting. All right, shall we spin her out and see what crazy happens? All right, get my getting a turtle here or something cells are going a little wonky again the colors are cool my box is falling apart down a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to scoop up Redistribute. Too much more paint on here, which is good. Means I haven't wasted a lot off the sides. this a lot. It's kind of weird. Not weird that I like it, but just it's weird. Again, just covering bare canvas.
Yeah, I have not wasted any paint on this one. Awesome. That will go over and that's fine, but I'm bringing this down. I'm actually liking it right the way it is. Yeah, this is not moving. I think it looks like some kind of weird bird now. done with me I don't know <laughs> oh let's check how much paint we got on this nothing all right it is good to go I'm excited all right I'm gonna bring this off there it is this just has mystical creature written all over it I think it looks like yeah. a bit of a turtle here. But let me know what you guys think. What do you see in this in this painting? Let me know in the comments below and thanks as always for watching. Bye for now.